Gina, I know Caroline's 17 points looks good, but do you think she's ever played as much defense as she's had to today? Yeah, she was really good today defensively and in a lot of different ways. You know, uh, she um, she's, she's gotten a lot better at it. She's worked really hard at it. And uh, I think that's going to keep getting better, hopefully, you know, as the season goes on and her career goes on and she gets better and better defensively. And... Um, Yeah, and uh, hopefully, you know, she keeps making shots. What in particular, what areas of improvement on the defensive end from her have you seen? Um, well, I, I think the the uh, the biggest area for her has been um, not getting lost on um, whether it's what switches are going on or what what cuts are happening or over helping at times or. Um, you know, again, it's some of it's experience. You know, you just play enough basketball at this level, you learn to, to read offenses better, and you know, and that just takes a little bit of time. But she's such a competitor, you know, she competes and she wants to be really, really good. So, um, whatever she sets her mind to, it's going to get done. That I, don't, I have no, no doubt about that. Gina, how did you think Nika did? What did you see from her in her first game backs in over a month? Um, you know, it's 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 hard when you miss that much time and 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 you haven't practiced much and uh, you know she she's looked a lot better in practice than she looked today playing. I think the you know. Um, she, she just she just has to understand that she's not right all the time, and that the refs are that the refs are allowed to call fouls once in a while. That it's not always their fault when you foul, and that that you know that causes her to you know not have a rhythm in the game because she can't be in the game as long as she wants to be, or for long stretches like she wants to be. So um, you know, all in all, I'm just glad that we got her the minutes that we got her, and and hopefully we can we can get a few more out of her, you know, this coming week. Uh, another one for me, just a lot of travel calls today. <laughs> I don't know if you thought was from the layoff or just weird. Yeah, just uh, shitty coaching. You know, uh, the first time in 27 years, you know, we lost our ability to to coach not traveling that's the only way I can explain it unless you know these guys just are in a hurry or something I can't explain it. I wish I could explain it but um, obviously we're not get, getting our point across in practice enough so we got to do a better job of that in practice not just with the travel calls but with the some of the self-inflicted stuff that we do, you know, that's been happening over and over and over again. And um, so those, those are the things that need to get. And hopefully, um, hopefully we can make a dent in that. Gina, any other encouraging things come after such a long break? Anything you were happy with? I mean, Aaliyah seemed a little bit more assertive today. Yeah, I thought defensively we, we pretty much got done, you know, everything that we wanted to get done. They're not an easy team to, to, to play against. You know, they're not an easy team to defend. And you got to work really, really hard. And you, you got to keep working. And the minute you, you stop, you know they get a they get a layup or they get an open three, um, so I thought defensively, considering we haven't played and we didn't have anybody at practice to go actually go five on five and play full court, I thought uh, I thought that was a huge positive today. You know, um, I, I, I was hoping that we would come out and 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 do a great job defensively. I was more worried about 
you know, our, our execution on offense and the timing and everything, given that, you know, we haven't had that opportunity. But I thought the defense was, was <coughs> excuse me, I thought the defense was really, really good. Uh, and then the offense looked really good at times. But we, you know, we have to just get better at sustaining things. You know, we, we allow, you know, we allow something that happens to, to set us back. You know, so we'll take two steps forward, something will happen, we'll take two steps back. And that's, you know, um, that, that hopefully, you know, is something we can work on in the next couple of days, next couple of weeks. Gino. Gino. Gino, when we talked to you way back in the summer, you said that Caroline by far was the most improved player during those summer workouts. Was it a progression for her to get to that point or kind of how it has been this season? Or was it just one day something seemed to click with her? Uh, I, I think it was more of a, um, um, an approach to the game that she has. You know, she, uh, well, let's put it this way, coming here in June and coming out of, out of high school, um, she had a long way to go from, you know, strength and conditioning wise. So she made a tremendous amount of progress right away in that area. And then, um, you know, her competitiveness, her competitive spirit, you know, allows her to get better because she doesn't. She doesn't dwell on what she can't do. You know, she had about a week or so, a week, maybe a little bit longer in practice in, uh, in December where things kind of caught up with her and she struggled a little bit. But for the most part, she just plays on. You know, she doesn't worry about what the, what the previous play brought. You know, if it was a made shot or a missed shot, it doesn't matter. You know, she just goes on and makes the next play, the next play, the next play. And, and that's what I really admire about her. And it's just, you know, she does it every day in practice. Gino, what's the, what have you figured out about the personality or the identity that you're going to have to play with to win with this group that you have now? Because it's going to be, you know, quite a number of games ahead. This is what you're going to have. What do you think are the things that you guys have to do to win? Um, again, so much of it is self, self-inflicted. You know, uh, unforced errors, mental, um, you know, a mental toughness that has to be there, uh, a concentration, um, you know, element that, that has to be there. Um, there there's just, um, you know, when you, wa when you watch this particular group play as it's as it was today in this group, there 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 really is a uh, uh, an up and down factor to it. That's just that's the only constant that I've seen is the inconsistency. That players will look really really good for four or five possessions, and then they'll look completely opposite for five possessions, and and then that will trickle down to another player and another player. So we're you know um, we're searching for who's going to be that that individual on the court that's going to be able to bring some sort of you know a sense of order to what we're doing you know uh, to finish out late game situations to finish out fourth quarters to play through adversity to you know I, I think that to me is the most glaring thing that that this team has to fix. And who are the candidates to be that? Um, well, you know, I, 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 unfortunately, there isn't a single person, one particular individual that you could say, this is who, this is who is running the, you know, it, it just, it's just what we're missing right now. You know, we're, we're, we're missing a quarterback. Right now, and we're trying to play at a real high level, you know, uh, but we're missing a quarterback. We're missing a calming influence on the floor that can, um, you know, can put the ball in the right people's hands at the right time, make a shot at the right time, you know. Um, and, and 
you know, maybe we, you know, we um, we will find someone as 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 the next weeks go on, and that's one reason why you know we we generally spread the ball around, you know, and do a lot of that so that that. That burden doesn't fall on just one person, but yeah, you'd like to have somebody step up and be that person, but we haven't found who that is yet. Gino, Happy New Year. Um, yep. When you look at the box score, you have four scores and double figures. Can you elaborate on just how to keep that offensive consistency going, especially since you got production from your post this time as well with Aaliyah coming back and also Dorka? Yeah, I... I I like the, that we move the ball around, as I said. I like that we get a lot of touches. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever coached a team at UConn that misses this many makeable shots, this many easy shots. So is there a positive in that that, well, at least we're getting a lot of easy shots. But they're just not going in. And eventually, you know, they'll start going in. And you would like to think that we can get four, you know, double figure scores every night. And, you know, I, I think 63 points is not, not going to get it, you know, uh, as time goes on. So I think somehow we got to figure out a way to get to 75 at least. You know, thank God our defense has been so good all year long. But we have enough good offensive players, but, you know, we've been so inconsistent that uh, it's it's hard to you know, it's hard it, it, it's hard to pinpoint you know okay today we know for sure we're going to get this from these guys it, it, every day it's a, it's it's kind of, it's been a little bit more of a guessing game than I like it to be. Hey Gino, uh, obviously getting Nika back today is huge, but could you maybe give us an update on on the other injured players, uh, Amari, Aubrey, Easy? Um, Amari, Amari's going to be good to go. I'm hoping that uh, she's good to go this coming week. Um, Piath is not ready yet. She's going to be a little bit longer. Uh, Aubrey's having surgery tomorrow. And uh, as, as I said earlier, I think the chances are pretty high that she's not going to be playing the rest of the season. So there's no... Um, there's no not going to be any update on her. Um, you know, Paige is doing her rehab, and again, what's the timetable? Depends how fast she she moves on. And uh, you know, I asked Daisy today, when are you, when are you playing? She said next game. I don't know whether she meant the next game that I play in will be the next game. Or that she meant the next game on the schedule. I'm not sure what she meant by that, but she's um, she's she's being allowed to do more and more each day. So hopefully she's getting close. Coach Oriyama, Creighton was five and zero in Big East play going into today's game. With this win, you guys are now two and zero. But how do you build off of some of these inconsistencies from today's performance going against Butler and Xavier next week? Uh, how do you how do you build on them? Yeah. Uh, I don't think you want to build on a lousy foundation like that, the inconsistencies. I think we want to eliminate those things. Um, and how do you do that? Well, you know, you just say, hey, you need to be more consistent. And that usually solves the problem, right? I doubt it. So, you know, you, you just have to you just have to go to practice every day and keep getting people good shots, keep getting people in position where they've got to make, you know, the right pass at the right time. And, um, and, and yeah, this is going to be the, this is going to be what it, this is what, it, this is going to be what it looks like. This is what, this is going to be what it, it, um, it is for a while. So um, I'm hoping that our defense stays exactly the way it is and that we can keep playing great defense. And little by little, I hope the offense gets a little more, a little more consistent. 
I have two questions. First, like, can you put your doctor's jacket on and what surgery is Aubrey having on her back? Do you know what she's having done? Yeah, she's she's got a disc issue in her back that's been a problem for a while. So what's the exact name of it? I don't know. I just know that you know a disc? she has a disc. Do you know what disc? Um, no. Okay. No. Yeah, no. Um, second thing, you talked in your radio show Monday about the fourth quarter problems. Um, today, the first five minutes were really good right. and allowed you a margin of error when the f second five. Right. So is this progress? Yeah, maybe it's progress. I, I think the fourth quarter, and, and a lot of it is, you know, uh, Creighton had, had come into the game with uh, really big third and fourth quarters, and you know, we, we, we were able to, uh, you know, to do a good job defensively on that. But, yeah, that's, that's the perfect example of the inconsistencies that I'm talking about, you know, that we could play five minutes and look as good as we did during those five minutes and then go five minutes and look as bad as we look during those five minutes. So uh, that's been the dilemma for us as coaches, and um, that's – what hopefully um, we can we can address. So yeah, I think progress today. Do you know is Avina feeling okay? I mean, her background suggests that she could be a, a better playmaker and a scorer, and she says all the right things, like she knows what to do. But we haven't seen it in like two or three games while Paige has been out. I mean, if if she's feeling all right, you mean like health health wise? Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, um, I, I think she's very much like everyone else, you know, um, that's come off this long stretch and um, and and I, you know, when you're when you're when you're a senior, you know, when you've played a lot of basketball in college, there's certain expectations that you would think you would have for yourself, right? And I'm sure if you asked her, she's probably not exactly thrilled with some of her performances the last couple of games. And, um, you know, and, and, and being a playmaker is exactly what we need, and we haven't gotten that. And being able to make some shots is, is you know, what we're looking for. And, and, you know, she's had games where that's exactly what she did. She made plays and she made shots. And... And, um, you know, and right now that's not, you know, that's not happening. I don't, I don't think it's anything physical. Any other questions for Coach? Thank you.